It was a rainy afternoon in Manchester, Vermont. I ducked into a quaint antique shop, seeking shelter and a unique souvenir. The air inside was thick with dust and the scent of old paper. Rows of antique dolls stared at me from glass cabinets, their porcelain faces unsettlingly perfect. One doll stood out, a girl with bright red hair and a hauntingly wide smile. It looked strangely familiar, like a face from a forgotten dream. The more I looked, the more the smile seemed to widen. An irrational fear gripped me. I felt an overwhelming urge to leave, to escape those impossibly cheerful eyes. Later that night, tucked into my hotel bed, the image of the doll wouldn't leave me. Then, a faint tapping sound came from the window. I froze. The tapping grew more insistent. 